What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video. In this video we'll review Oxygen OS 11.0.9.9 for OnePlus 8 series. Before even starting the video let me tell you one thing guys this build seems to be having some serious issues. So if you guys haven't updated your device I won't recommend you guys to update it to the particular version of Oxygen OS which is 11.0.9.9 and you can just watch this video to know more about the issues what I have been facing and what other users have been facing. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 8 which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS which is 11.0.9.9. Soon after the update was rolled out users started reporting issues related to broken payment services on this build of Oxygen OS. And when I did the video of this update that time I did not check the payment services like Google Pay. So once I got to know about that, I started to check the same and I did face issue while doing a manual payment. For example, when I tried making a payment to one of my contact and soon I entered the amount, the application was only taking single digit. So this was an issue which I initially faced but after that it got fixed and making payments using QR codes had no issues at all. So I don't think it's an issue with all users who updated their device to the latest version. So you guys drop me a comment in the comment section below who all users are not able to use the services like payment services and basically other things like banking apps do work fine. I personally don't use other payment services other than Google Pay. And another feature which OnePlus 8 users have been waiting since a long time and that's implementation of FPS meter or you can call it as monitor data feature in the game space application. So here if you talk about the app version, the app version over here is 2.11.0.2. And this is the latest application of game space for OnePlus phones. Initially, if you guys remember, when OnePlus rolled out Android 11 for OnePlus 6 series, that time even they did not have this feature. But after updating the application to version 2.11, they got FPS meter working in the gaming dashboard. But that's not the case on OnePlus 8 series. So here you can see we don't have any option to monitor data or you can also call it FPS monitor. And the best part is all OnePlus phones starting from OnePlus 6 series have got this feature except OnePlus 8 series. So good job done by OnePlus here. I am not covering the camera part because the camera application remains same which was present on the previous update. So this was the camera version on previous update which was 5.8.110 and after the update camera app remains same. So there is no point covering camera part. And after this update I have also noticed slight jitters and lags while using the device. I have a screenshot wherein my device was completely freezed while using it. So here you can see. This was the time when my device completely got freezed when I tried opening app drawer. And to fix this, I had to restart my device. Later I cleared the caches and data of launcher. And after clearing the data of launcher, I haven't faced this issue. And another place where I get to see little bit of lagginess, that's in the settings panel. So if you are inside the settings panel, and for example, let's open the display tab or display section. And now if you go back and scroll the settings menu, you might see some jitters because I have observed this thing a lot of time and I'm not sure if you guys are also facing this issue. Device gets stuck for a millisecond and then it resumes. Also in the settings panel, if you take a look at the alignment of Google section, here you can see which is completely out of order and it is not even aligned along with the other categories. And these are some of the minor things though you can easily access the Google tab with no issues. And another padding issue is layer to the nearby sharing option. So whenever you open nearby sharing and here you can see in the pop-up menu the padding is completely moving away from the selections. But if you go to the main settings of nearby sharing here you don't get to see that issue. Here padding seems to be fine. The only issue is with the pop-up menu of nearby sharing. So you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you guys are also having the same issue with the pop-up menu of nearby sharing. And on a community tab, one of our user mentioned issue with the media volume when connecting to Bluetooth, wherein he's mentioned that whenever he connects the Bluetooth device, the media volume level goes up to 100%. But on my device, I did not see that issue. So like for example, right now the Bluetooth case is closed. If I open the Bluetooth case, the volume will automatically go to the previous level of media volume where I was using my Bluetooth earlier. So here what happens is media level goes back to the same level when your Bluetooth was disconnected. So like now you can see, I'll set the volume to almost 90% and now I'll close my Bluetooth case. 
and you can see the drop in volume level. But now if I again connect the Bluetooth device, the volume level should go up to 90% where we left previously. So I don't think there is an issue. You just give it a try by connecting your device to Bluetooth and setting the media volume level according to your requirement. So I don't think this is an issue on Oxygen OS 11.0.9.9. Now let's also talk about the battery backup and the battery backup on this build seems to be pretty much good with the normal usage like without gaming I was getting in between 5 and a half hours to 6 and a half hours of screen on time but I also felt overnight battery drain was at higher side compared to the previous update I have been noticing in between 8 to 10 percent of battery drain in ideal conditions on the previous update overnight battery drain never went above 6 percent also every individual will have different screen on time. So it's pretty hard to judge the battery backup. But overall, I have no complaints later to see. And as you all know, I always create a poll asking about the issues on previous builds of Oxygen OS whenever I had to do a review. So here on this latest community post, one of our subscriber mentioned about app crashing issues. So as said, I've been using this device with my normal usage like basic applications which I always use till now there were no issues related to app crashing so Ibrahim let me know in the comment section below with which all application you face the issue was it a third party application or stock oneplus application and in future if you have such issues do mention the app name so that I can test it out so guys these were some of the issues which I have noticed on this latest build of Oxygen OS now talking about performance part, I basically play Battlegrounds Mobile India and still users have been asking me about enabling 90 FPS. So guys 90 FPS on OnePlus 9 series can only be enabled with AutoHertz application. I've also made a video on that. I'll leave that video link in the description below. You guys can follow that video to enable 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India. So since I have installed this latest update on my OnePlus 8, I did a lot of gaming on this device. And with no doubt slight heating issues were observed. But it wasn't that bad and because of that slight heating issues, I did not even notice any kind of frame drops or lagginess in the game. With 60 FPS, gaming was pretty much fine. And my gaming combination is 4 finger plus gyro, so gyro was also pretty much great. And if you guys want to check out, here's a small gameplay. So guys, this was a quick review of Oxygen OS 11.0.9.9 for OnePlus 8 series. If I missed out any issues which you guys have mentioned, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.